Hello. So, now to understand what is software engineering, I think we should uh, characterize a little bit what we are talking about. And so in this slide and in the next slides, I'm going to address a few topics that um, to provide an idea, at least allows to reason a, bit, a little bit about uh, what is software engineering. And the first thing I'm going to address is how can we look at software engineering as a language and as the process of development software, as a process of actually doing a transformation of languages such that you come from a natural language, so informal, with, very, with not very precise semantics to a final language that actually is, needs to be precise because needs to be executed by the Turing machine. So we can see, so when, when we think about um, software engineering as a, um, uh, as a formalization process, we need to understand a little bit the idea of um, what are the problems related with this? Because if you think in terms of the other engineerings, you can see that they are more related with physics and they have very precise ways to measure and to evaluate the artifacts. But it's much more difficult to evaluate an artifact that is based on language. Okay? And although the, the final uh, language is a formal language, it's based basically on logic, and it's very error prone, so it's, there's not a continuous medium in the sense a small change can basically corrupt the complete system. So that's why by changing an instruction in your code, actually you, you have a problem and the problem doesn't uh, work anymore. So actually when you say that developing software is a process of transforming the needs of the stakeholders, the people that really wants to use the software and the see benefits of on a software system. And to map this idea that is expressed as a natural language into a formal language that is in a computer raises a, a, a lot of problems. Usually there are the problems related with the Tower of Babel and the sense that it's very difficult, okay, or very easy to create misunderstandings. So when you develop software, one of the things that you're going to realize is that very easy that at the end, the product you develop doesn't correspond to what was expected by the clients. So some of the techniques or some of the concerns of the discipline of software engineering tries to map these expectations with the solution. So, and as we'll see, some of the techniques tries to take close together the people that need the software with the people that implement the software. Okay? So, some final words. What I need you to think about is if software is a language, if software development is a process of language transformation from natural language, that is ambiguous, to a formal language that uh, is as precise semantics, but is very easy to corrupt by small changes. Think about it in terms, what is the impact in terms of the type of methods the type of tools and the type of techniques we should have in software engineering.